Well, just when you think things are going smoothly, I was looking at the Yakon, and some of the leaves really look terrible, and I thought, well, what's going on? Looks like, almost looks like blight or something. Then I even noticed some of the tips were starting to die, and I decided to just cut some of it back, and I noticed the inside looked blackish, and I thought, well, that's weird. But then I started noticing these little what looked like tiny holes and I then I started to wonder if it was insect damage because there's a bunch of tiny holes all along the stem so I decided to cut it open and there's what I found to me, it looks like a squash vine borer, and if that's the case, this is a disaster because they just tear me up on the squash, and since uh, the Yakon needs a longer time to harvest than some things, uh, planting later would not be an option. So this is very disappointing, to say the least. Not sure what I'm going to do, but I think I'm going to try injection into the stems, see if that helps. If that doesn't help, then it may turn out to be a total fail. But I'll be busy trying to figure these out today, I think. I just wanted to share this information. I uh, thought it might help those who might be growing Yakon this year. Or maybe some of you have already seen it. This is new to me since I'm new to growing it, but uh, this is very disappointing. These other stems have the same thing. I'm going to cut these open, see if I can find more of them. I cut this one off closer to the ground. It looks like insect hole there and a bunch of smaller holes up here. Cut this one open, hopefully. If that's what it is, we can figure something out. This has a small one in it. I haven't gone all the way to the top yet, though, but... I'm assuming these are uh, vine borers. Uh, they, they're behaving just like them. Uh, I'm guessing, since I didn't grow squash during the summer, the ones that uh, bred on my squash last year came out and didn't have any squash to go to, so this was their second choice. A lot of uh, feces there, so there may be another one up higher. I'll go ahead and cut it open. But if anybody has any ideas of what this might be if, other than a vine borer, I'd sure like to hear from you. I cut this all the way to the top, and it looks like all that damage was done by one larva. So things aren't looking good on the old Yakon plantation. Well, I was looking the stems over and just about every stem has some of the holes in them. So, I'm giving it some, I'm giving uh, some consideration to cutting the whole thing down and seeing if it'll re-sprout and then spray it with BT every few days and see what happens. I'm thinking I probably have some rhizomes already started down here, but I'm not sure. But I think that may be what I do. I may just cut these suckers down because leaving those Bores in there. I'm not sure if injecting every stem will help or not. 
Not only that, but they've had time to weaken them already. So, that's what we're going to do. I'm going to cut them all down. Very disappointing. Well, this is what I'm seeing way down at the base of the plants. They're kind of destroyed, so I don't think injecting BT would it would have done any good because they're just completely eaten up. So I think I made the right call there. I would have just prolonged what I just did until later. Hopefully they'll survive. Let's go look at what we have left. What I did was left just a little bit of life at the base of each one and you can see this this stem here was toast already and this was well on its way. Um, I left some green here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to inject these stems with some BT then I'm going to spray the whole thing down with BT and respray it I don't know every four or five days probably just to keep some on it and then over here same thing looks like I may have had one that was uh, healthy but uh, most of them already had those little holes in the stem so I think I probably had some already in every stem I have some little, little bit of life here that I don't think is damaged yet and I'm going to treat it just like the other one I mentioned. This one down here, same way. We've got hollow stems. We've got these two that were already well on their way to being toast. I'm going to keep them sprayed, keep an eye on them. Hopefully we've got some tubers started and maybe we can get a small harvest or something. but. If these are vine borers, well, regardless of what they are, if uh, we have similar activity to vine borers on the Akon, I probably just won't grow it again. I'm getting to the point where I'm almost not wanting to grow squash for, for the same reason. But I thought this was valuable information. I haven't heard of this before. And uh, I know there's probably a lot of people out there growing yak on, so you might look for it. And uh, if you've seen this before, please um, leave a comment. Let me know how you approached it. Or if you have an idea of what these might be besides vine borers, uh, I'd like to hear that too. But pretty sure that's what they are. But regardless, uh, this is kind of a disaster for me. Hopefully we can figure out something, but it's not looking good right now, folks. <laughs> That's the way gardening goes. It's always something. That's life. <laughs>